Hello guys, welcome to the Sysadmin Tutorials YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be running through a demonstration of a recent blog article that I posted entitled Getting Started with Terraform and VMware vCloud Director. I'm going to show you that using Terraform, we can automate the process of creating an external vCloud network, a vCloud organization, a organization VDC, and a single vApp in a matter of seconds. As you can see on screen, I'm using Visual Studio Code. And on the left hand side, we have the list of Terraform files that we're going to be working with. So the first one I'd like to take a look at is the terraform.tfvars file. And within this file, we've got all our variables and the values for each of those variables. So we'll just scroll through that quickly. And what you want to do with this file once you've grabbed it off my GitHub page is you want to modify it to suit your environment. Once we've modified the variables to suit our environment, we'll then just take a quick look at variables.tf. In this file, we can define a few settings for the variable, such as type, default, and description. As you can see, we've placed a description next to each variable, so we can describe in short what each variable does exactly. Next up, we'll be taking a look at the main.tf file. As you can see, the file is highlighted in red, and just to the right of it, you've got a number one. So that means that it's found one error with the code in this file. So if I click on the file, it's highlighted the vcd underscore user variable. And this only happened once I upgraded my vCloud provider to the latest version. However, it does not prevent you from making a connection into the vCloud director instance, and it still uses the username for this variable. So hopefully that gets fixed up in a newer version to come. Now this first part of the file, we're making a connection into our vCloud director instance. We are then going to create a new external vCloud network. Once the network's created, we are then going to create a new vCloud organization. And if we just have a look at this part of the code here, where it says depends on vcd underscore external underscore network dot x net, which is external net. This means that this cannot be created unless the external network is created. So it depends on that to be created before it can go ahead and execute. So once the vCloud director organization is created, we can then create a new organization VDC. And once again, at the bottom of this code, this part of the code depends on an organization being created. We then add the external network that we created earlier into the organization VDC. And we finish the code by creating one vApp, which is purely going to be called servers. Now, if you grab all the files from my GitHub page, where the link will be in the description below this video, the first thing you want to do once you place all those files into the one folder is you'll want to run terraform space in it. So it looks like this. And what this will do, it will download the vCloud Director provider and it will allow you to execute this type of code. So I've already run it, but I'm going to run it again for you. It won't download any provider or anything like that because we've already downloaded it, but I'm going to run it anyway. And as you can see, my vCloud Director provider is version 2.5. So the next thing we'll do is we're going to run Terraform plan. So what that's going to do is it's going to make a connection into our vCloud Director. It's going to check what we've done in the code. And then it's going to let you know if there's any additions, uh, modifications, or deletions. And all it's doing is checking. It's not going to make any uh, changes to your environment at all. And let's run that now. If we scroll up, all these green pluses are going to be the additions that it's going to introduce into our vCloud Director environment. So once you've checked through that and verified that that is exactly what you want to do, we can then go back down into the command prompt and we can type in terraform apply. Now, just before I press enter on this, 
I'm going to log into my vCloud Director environment and just show you that there is no Terraform One organization and there's also no external network called Terraform One Dashlan. Okay, so I'll click on Manage and Monitor. We can see here that I've got some make-believe organizations, but the one that we're going to be creating is called Terraform One. So there is no Terraform One there. And if we click on External Networks, we can see that there's no Terraform One dash LAN. So I'm going to minimize my vCloud Director instance. And we're going to return to Visual Studio Code. We'll press Enter on this Terraform Apply. And what it's going to do is pretty much similar to the Terraform plan. However, at the end, it's going to give you the option to type yes to actually apply these settings. So once again, you can scroll up, double verify that everything is OK. And once you've done that, simply type in yes and press enter to apply the changes. Okay, all the changes have been applied. So now let's go back to our vCloud Director instance. And we're still on external networks here, so I'm going to click on Refresh. We can see that the Terraform 1-LAN has been created. And we'll now go into Organizations. And here we have our Terraform 1 organization. We'll click onto that. And you can see straight away on the front page, we have our servers V app, which is empty because we haven't created any virtual machines yet. But if we click on administration tab, we can see our virtual data center called Terraform 1-VDC-A. And if I right click and go into the properties of the VDC and click on allocation, we can see that the CPU quota, the resources guaranteed, the vCPU speed, and the memory quota, and lastly, the memory resources guaranteed, matches that of what we have in our Terraform code. So I'll click on Cancel now. And the next steps now would be to create virtual machines within our vApp. So let's say we've spun up this environment for development purposes. We've created a few virtual machines. We've done the work that we need to, and we no longer need this environment any longer. What we'll do is we'll go back to Terraform, and we're simply going to type in Terraform Destroy. And what this is going to do, it's going to completely destroy the environment. So it's going to remove the vApp, the VDC, the organization, and the external network that we created. So I'll press Enter. And you can see here that we've got a red dash next to the changes that are going to occur. And the red dash means that they're going to be deleted. So if we scroll up, we can see all of the configuration that's going to be deleted. And once again, uh, just verify that. And if you're happy with that, you can click on or type in yes. Press enter and we'll watch the environment be destroyed. Okay, and just like that, within a matter of seconds, the whole environment has been removed. If I go back to vCloud Director, and let's close this tab. And here is our Terraform 1. If I click on Refresh, this will be removed. And so there we go, it's been removed from the environment. And if I click on External Networks, we can see that we no longer have a Terraform 1-LAN. So everything's being controlled through code. There's no longer any need to come into the GUI and click around. And you can also use the code to provision virtual machines as well. Now, one thing that I did forget to mention was that within the organization, if I right click on an organization and go to properties and we go to policies, you can see that the lease time here, maximum runtime lease is seven days. The storage lease is 30 days and the vapp template lease for maximum storage is 30 days as well so when you use terraform uh, there's no option in the resources to specify the lease time at this stage so what i did i went to the terraform github page and under the vcloud director provider i logged an issue and asked them if they could include settings so that we could 
modify the policy leases in the future. And that was for maximum runtime lease and maximum storage leases. So I'll close this window. So that concludes this video demonstration on using Terraform to automate parts of VMware vCloud Director. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks very much for watching and stopping by my site and we'll see you next time.